So in the last class we have studied what is engineering graphics, what is its importance in engineering and how we can make engineering graphics simple. Also I have briefly explained the concept of projection by considering a particle in space. You know a particle is the smallest size the human being can imagine. So let this be that particle in space and let this be that imaginary plane. Then the line joining this particle and its projection on this plane is known as the projector. So this is only that projector. Just to understand that concept only I am considering this small sphere and this sphere now I am considering as the particle. See it is the smallest size the human being can imagine. Then just see what will be the diameter of this line. It will be a mere line only and that line joining this particle and its 2D shape on this plane is known as the projector. Now we just consider a bigger object like this. It is only an aircraft in the space. It contains infinite number of particles. To get the projection of this object, I mean this aircraft on this imaginary plane, actually you have to project all these particles in this direction that is towards the plane. So you consider the first particle, let this nose end be the first particle, then you have to project that nose end in this direction so that you will get the corresponding 2D shape on this plane. Similarly for the second one you project in this direction so that you will get the 2D shape of the second particle. Then for the third particle you have to project like this, fourth particle you have to project like this. So if you are projecting all these particles on this plane you will get the 2D shape of this aircraft. Now you just consider a particle here on this side of the aircraft say on this wing. So if you are considering the view of this aircraft say, say somebody is here standing here and if he is looking in this direction he won't be able to see this particle. But when you project all this particle you are actually projecting that particle also towards this plane. That means you are getting the 2D shape of that particle also here on this plane. That means all these particles you have to project that means you have to get the 2D shape of all these particles on this plane and finally you will get the projection of the entire thing on this plane. So that is the concept of projection. Now we will see that in the video. Here we are considering an aircraft in space and its projection on an imaginary plane. So here this is that aircraft, it is in space now and we are projecting the particles in that aircraft towards this plane. So these are the projectors, all the infinity number of projectors you have to consider and you are getting the 2D shape of the aircraft like this on the imaginary plane. We have studied the projections of two objects in space that is one in front of the imaginary plane and the other behind the imaginary plane. In that example we have considered a ship as an, an object in front of the imaginary plane and the moon as an object behind the imaginary plane. And we have considered the sky as the imaginary plane and we have seen that both the projections that is irrespective of the position of the object whether it is in front of the imaginary plane or behind the imaginary plane the projection will be obtained on the imaginary plane that now we can see considering these two cases. Here in the first case the object is in front of the imaginary plane we can see that here this is that plane and this is that object and this is the observer he is viewing the object. Now in this case see this is the imaginary plane and the object is behind the imaginary plane. And here this is the observer, he is looking in this direction. See when you consider the object here, here at the back side of the imaginary plane, we are getting the projection or the view on the imaginary plane like this. 
and what about this case in this case also you are getting the projection or the view on the imaginary plane that means irrespective of the position of the object whether it is in front of the imaginary plane or behind the imaginary plane we will get the projection on the same plane or that imaginary plane now we will see that in the video Today we will see what are the different types of projections and an alternative method to make multi-view projections simple. Actually these are included in the sixth chapter of this book that is engineering graphics unique methods easy solutions. So we will see what are the specialities of this chapter. Actually this chapter contains more than 100 numbers of 3D figures. You know in engineering graphics we are mainly studying the projection of 3D objects and its orientation in space. So to understand the theory of different types of projection, the student has to make that much numbers of models and they have to use that models to understand the theory. That is why this much numbers of 3D figures are given in this book so that the students can use that 3D figures to understand the theory. And uh, that you can see in the sixth chapter of this book. main type of projections the students are studying in engineering graphics is multi view projections and is very difficult to follow if they are using the conventional method. So a simple and alternative method is given in this book that is engineering graphics unique methods EC solutions. So that the students can use this method to solve problems in multi view projections. So my suggestion is that the students should know about the conventional method but they should not use that method to solve problems in multi view projections. They have to use only this alternative method given in this book to solve multi view projections so that it will be very easy for them. Now we will see the classification of projections. You know the projections are basically classified according to the type of projectors and as per the orientation of the object in space. Here you can see different types of projections. Here the object is in front of the picture plane and the projectors are like this. They are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of projection. So this is 90 degree whereas here the projectors are still parallel to each other but this angle is not 90 degree. They are inclined to, inclined to the plane of projection. That means the projectors are inclined to the plane of projection. So here it is perpendicular to the plane of projection but here it is inclined to the plane of projection. Here see the projectors are converging at a point or in other words they are diverging like this and you will get the projection here on the plane of projection. Here the orientation of the object is like this so that you can see all the three faces of the object. But here also you can see the projectors which are perpendicular to the plane of projection also they are parallel to each other. So like this, like this here also the projectors are these are the projectors actually the projectors are not shown here these are the projectors and that projectors are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of projection. Here also the projectors are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane but see the orientation 
of the object in these two cases here the orientation is such that the principal axes are parallel or perpendicular to the plane of projection whereas in this case the principal axes are inclined to the plane of projection so here you can see all the faces in the same view whereas in this case see we can see only one face so basically the projections are classified according to the type of projectors and orientation of the object in space according to the type of projectors the projections are classified into two types that is parallel projections and convergent projections this is an example for the parallel projections whereas this is an example for the convergent projections in this case i have consider a cube in space and these are the projectors actually you have to consider all the infinite projectors but here just to get the shape of that projection on the plane i have to consider only the projectors of the corners and uh, see these are that projectors and they are parallel to each other whereas in this case this is the object and these are the projectors and you are getting the projection like this on the plane of projection and uh, these projectors are converging at this point so based on the type of projectors the projections are classified into two types parallel projections and uh, convergent projections and we will study this convergent projections in detail later here this is the plane of projection and this is the object and uh, object is projected towards the plane and uh, projectors are parallel to each other this is the plane of projection and here this is the object you see you can see the projectors are diverging towards the plane and you are getting this as the projection see the parallel projections are classified into two types that is oblique projection and orthographic projection in orthographic projection the projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection see here these are the projectors the projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection in this case the object is in front of the plane of projection whereas in this case it is behind the plane of projection but in both these cases you can see that the projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection here see these are the projectors and the projectors are perpendicular to the plane of projection here see it is behind the i mean object is behind the plane of projection and now you see here these are the projectors and they are inclined to the plane of projection so this is only oblique projection and we will study oblique projection in detail later now we'll see the video of both this that is orthographic projection and oblique projection here this is the plane of projection and see this is the object which is in front of the plane of projection and you are projecting all these points towards the plane like this and you are getting the projection on the plane of projection see here this is the plane of projection in this case the object is behind the plane of projection but in that case also you have to project towards the plane and you are getting the projection like this
see here this is the plane of projection see here this is the object and these are the projectors which are inclined to the plane of projection and you are getting the projection like this So the orthographic projections are classified into two types that is multi view projections and axonometric projections. So this is an example for the multi view projection and this is an example for the axonometric projection. Here see in multi view projections number of projections are obtained on different planes like this. So here none of these projections will give true shape or I mean the 3D shape of the object. Whereas in this case in a single view you can get the 3D shape of an object. Here see this is the front view and this is the side view and this is the top view. So this is only the top view. You won't get an idea about uh, the 3D shape of the object from any of these projections. Now we will see the video of both this. So here we are considering three planes. This is a vertical plane, horizontal plane and one more plane is there and uh, this aircraft is the object. So you are projecting it towards the vertical plane so that you will get the frame view like this and now you are projecting it downward on horizontal plane so that you will get the top view and we will consider a third plane like this and you are projecting it on that plane so that you will get the side view. So three views you are getting here. So this is only the front view and this is the top view again this is only the front view and this is the side view. This is that front view top view and side view. So this is only multi view projections. We are drawing more than one view in that case. Front view, top view and side view. And this is an example for the axonometric projection. This is only that axonometric plane. Here this is the object and these are the principal axis of the object. See the principal axis are inclined to the axonometric plane. So this is that view. In the same view you can see all the faces. So you will get an idea about the 3D shape of the object.